Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Brianna and today I am bringing to you a recently discontinued product but I thought it would be a fun one to bring back and I haven't actually done a review on the normal sized one of this in a very long time so I thought it would be a fun thing to do and I have the the big comforter right here. Isn't it a beauty? I'm going to pop it down though because it is quite heavy. It is one kilo worth of bubble bar, um, which is pretty crazy. Um, so this particular bubble bar has sodium bicarbonate, cream of tartar, sodium lauryl sulfate, bergamot oil, cassis absolute and cypress oil. So the comforter um, is a classic lush scent. Um, there have been very various products over the years in the comforter scent family. One thing that's sort of been a constant bestseller and something that Lush has pretty much always stocked uh, in recent history is the Comforter Bubble Bar. Um, it is, I, I believe it is probably the bestseller in all of the bubble bars. Uh, if I am not wrong, correct me if I am. Uh, it is basically, it, the scent notes do tell some of the story here, but basically what you are getting is a very rich sort of berryish scent um, from this product. It's a very intense, sweet berry scent. And berry scents tend to appeal to most people. So I can see why it is very popular. And it is definitely one that I quite enjoy as well. Now, the reason why I wanted to bring this up is not just because I randomly bought it ages ago and completely forgot to um, share it with you. Um, I did share it with you on a haul, but I didn't sort of do a separate video on it. Is I wanted to sort of let you know about the... Christmas big version of the Snow Fairy bubble bar that's coming out. So this is the first time, this big comforter is the first time that Lush ever did a one kilo bubble bar. And I thought they were a bit nuts for doing that. I thought, oh, this will never sell. This is crazy. Um, but now they're doing one for Christmas. So it must have done okay for them to want to br bring a big one out for Christmas um, for Snow Fairy. So I thought I would just share it with you because, I mean, it could be useful for you. So Here's my head. I've got quite a buff head, but I mean, this covers my head. You know, it is huge. Um, now, this one kilo size, you're probably going to get at least 10 baths out of this if you sort of play your cards right. I would definitely weigh it out. I know that sounds a bit sort of anal, but I would do that um, because the normal comforter bubble bars are about a 200 gram size. And you can easily get two bars out of them, even three if you're being quite stingy. Um, so that's how I would use this product. I would cut it up in sort of sections and just use it piece by piece and make sure it's cut up really, really good. Um, but I don't want to cut mine up or use mine up at this stage. I love the way it looks. I just think it's very aesthetically pleasing and I just want to keep it in my collection as it is. But once that sort of, um, what's the word, that sort of craving strikes for the comforter, of course I'm going to use that. I'm not going to go and buy a new one, um, a new smaller one. That just doesn't make sense. But if you use this um, sort of in the way that I said, it's very economical. So if you do see this up for sale somewhere, don't obviously pay a ridiculous price for it. But, you know, it's worth, if it's at a good price, it's probably worth buying. Um or if you just can't get a hold of it, you can always buy the normal comforter. Uh, the strength of the scent's really good for this one. The bubble yield is really good. Um, this formula is really, really nice. It's not sort of the reusable bubble bar formula. It's the crumbly kind of texture. It's, it's very good at the bubble yield. So yeah, I don't think you'll be disappointed if you give it a try. But um, I will definitely buy the big Snow Fairy just for fun just for shits and giggles, really, and just so this one has a friend <laughs> in my collection. Um, but let me know what you think. Did you buy the big comforter? Did you find that it was quite cost-effective for you? Um, are you going to buy the big snow fairy? Um, let me know about that too, because that'll be quite interesting. But yes, I'm definitely giving this product a 5 out of 5. I think it was a great way for people to sort of have it an epic economical bath. I think it was about 40 Australian dollars, which is really reasonable once you break down the price of it. Because you were looking at about four to five dollars for it if you thought about it in terms of the size of the comforter 
bubble bar, the smaller one, which definitely costs more than four to five dollars. So, yeah, it, it's a good it's a good thing that Lush is trying to do things more economically, save on shipping costs, packing costs, all those sorts of things. I think it's a good thing. But thank you so much for watching this video. I sincerely appreciate all your support. Uh, and yeah, I hope to see you on the next video. Bye for now.